<laughs> hey YouTube, it's Miles from Nexus Core. I'm back yeah. with a um, Gear Chronicle time leap video. Uh, I know it's like pretty damn late for this, considering this deck was more prominent a while ago. But it is still meta, and I have just completed it, so I might as catch you later. So I might as well give you a deck profile on it. Um, so first off, the starter is Chrono Drawn. Everyone probably knows what this does. Uh, GB1 when it's time. First off, Forerunner obviously. Then GB1 when it gets time leapt. Um, you may move it to the soul and search your deck for a Chrono Jet Grade 3, call it to the field, and at the end of turn you bounce it back to hand. So, most of you know the combo with TikTok where you just, um, actually I don't know why I'm talking about TikTok, uh, you just use something to time leap this, get a grade 1 because time leap using this unit skill, and then you just use its skill to get a grade 3. So you can get two attacks or a potentially, you know, 18k column, uh, if you have a grade 1. <laughs> and then it just bounces back to hand to ensure that you can stride next turn. So that's that. Uh, I still run one TikTok. It's limited. You cannot use it as... It's limited to one and you can't use it as a starter. However, it's still pretty easy to get out. Like, one of the turns I would go into just, like... I would use one of the many cards in this deck that can time leap units. I would time leap this, get Melum. Um, I would get Melum and then use Melum to turn back into this. So it's pretty easy to get out. Uh, I got cheated on. Four Heart Thump Workers. It's the, uh, you know, when your Chrono Jet Grade 3 Vanguard attack, shove into Soul Draw plus 5k. Then three Chrono Volley Rabbits, Zodiac Time Beast Crits. One Urwatar. Again, it's limited to one. Um, its skill is GB1. When it's uh, sent to the um, bind zone, you may, um, when it's sent to the bind zone, you may put it on the bottom of your deck, draw two cards, and then shuffle one of them back to the deck. So it's part of the whole Elite Four combo. Um, then I run one Vainglory Dream Gear Cat. Uh, it's GB1 once per turn. When one of your opponent's rear guards is sent to the, uh, is sent back to their deck, you may shuffle this unit back to the deck and give your Vanguard 10k for the turn. So, I use it with Hetero Round. I actually explained this combo in my Zodiac Time Beast video, so watch that because I'm really tired and don't want to, you know, repeat myself. Uh, four heals. It, I, I guess you should probably run the Zodiac Time Beast heal. Um, I run Enja because she's cute, and that's about it. And then three draw. You could run um, the Zodiac Time Beast draw. Uh, I run this one because you can, you know, it fuels soul, and there are some skills in this deck that do soul blast, so it's just helpful, and the extra 3k can help out sometimes too. So those are triggers and zeros overall. Moving on to grade ones. Four Melum, because it's meta. One tick away to shuffle your resources back into deck. One Meshkia for the draw power. Um, it's GB1 when it's called from time leap. You can rest it, pick a unit. Um, or when it's called from the, yeah, called from deck by time leap, you can uh, rest it, pick a unit, give it 4k and draw. So it gives you a nice little plus engine. One Lishma. Um, after it boosts Soul Bless 1 and Discard 1, if it boosted a uh, Chrono Jet, wait, no, if it boosted a, um, yeah, if it just boosted the Vanguard. So it has to be Vanguard, that's why I really only run one of, you only need one of. Um, after it boosted Vanguard, you pay the cost, bind it, or a time leap it into a grade two so there's a cool little combo where like let's say you have a grade two right here you boost you use leishma with um vanguard and then you go into delayed blazer which is um i'm pretty sure this was this was in my zodiac time beast deck it's uh on when it gets called you can time leap a grade two so you just go into that time leap your you get this then time leap your rested um grade two into another grade three attack and then when, at end of turn, when it gets called back to the field, uh, you can counterblast one and draw one. Then I run three stride fodder, and four Arlim, the pretty one. Because um, unflipping matters. So those are grade ones. Uh, grade twos. For History Maker Dragon, GB1 on attack, counterblast one, time leap a unit. Pretty basic, you use it with the uh, Elite Four combo. I still hate that name. Two Delayed Blazer, I just explained what that does. Um, three Calibum, on, when it gets called to rearguard, pick one of your opponent's units and they, uh, degrade it, or they send it back to the deck and they may choose one unit, um, with grade less than, with grade minus one, so, it's, it's just nice to mess up their field a little bit, and two upstream, it's decent, um, you can use it to, like, get into Melum if you don't see that, and you see this instead, 
uh, you really don't need to. Um, I mainly just run it because, like, again, it can help you get out better grade ones. Like, your one ofs. You know, there are three one of grade ones in this deck, so using this can kind of help you get into those. And finally, grade threes. The main grade three of the deck for Carnage Dragon G. I explained this in my Zodiac Time Beast deck profile. Go watch that. And three, Chrono Jet Dragon. Everyone knows what this does if you're a Vanguard Weeaboo fanboy who loves Chrono. Um, okay, G units. Two, Chrono Dragon Gear Groovy. Uh, this unit skill is, um, well, its first skill is uh, once per turn, act, uh, you GB2, um, flip, uh, you, G, you G Persona Blast, a flip a copy of itself, then pick two, um, two different gear dragons uh, that are face up in your G zone and then you it gains one auto ability of each. The only two that I run are next stage and um, Chronos Command. So basically you would make sure that you have face up of each of them. You pick their skills. So what I have next stage is restand ability and Chrono uh, Chronos Command's send all back to the deck ability. Uh, then Following with that, I run three next. Oh, and then its other ability is um once per turn GB3, Soul Blast one, and then G flip any unit, it gains 5k. So you would like flip up your face up copy, you know, you would flip your copies that you're actually going to target, so you don't need to bother striding into them. Uh, then I run three next stage. Everyone knows what it does, it's meta. Um, three interdimensional dragon warp, uh, yeah, warp drive dragon. This unit skill is once per turn act, uh, counter blast one, soul blast one, flip a G unit face up, any G unit. Um, and then it's for every copy of this face up unit, pretty sure. Yeah, for every copy of this face up unit in the G zone, pick one of your rear guards and time leap it. Then after you time leap, um, you. Pick, yeah, you pick one of your opponent's rear guards with grades less than or equal to the number of units time left, and you send it back to the bottom of the deck. Uh, I also use it just to like set up my field for the um, Elite Four combo, uh, and that's that's pretty much all it's really for. One Kronos Command, um, I seldom use this card, I just use it because it has potential to be used with, with Gear Groovy. Uh, I might ditch it for, uh, I'm probably going to ditch it for Mystery Freeze when that comes out, or the GB8, which I have yet to get, because I just haven't bothered investing in this stuff, and investing in Fighter Selection. Right, to, Wong Long, like, good player. You can also like, use Wong Long, yeah, I might do that. Um, and then there's two, uh, Metallica Phoenix, you know, on attack, uh, flip a G unit, time leap a card, it's part of the Elite Four combo. One Sea Breeze, because getting your GB1 off is important. Two Uluru, because shield is nice. One Rafana. Um, I feel like I explained this already, but I'll do it again. So when you G guard with her, you pick um, a normal unit on your field. Pretty sure it's a normal unit. Choose one of your grade one or greater rear guards and send it back to the deck. Search your deck for a grade zero. Call it to your side of the field, and then this unit gains 10k shield. So it's a 26k shield, um, provided you use the skill, and uh, you can get out your grade zeros like. Vainglory, Urwatar, or um, TikTok, and then one hetero round for that Vainglory combo. I've explained that already. So this is the deck. Um, I'll probably do like a. I, I plan on using this deck at Grand Fest, and I'll probably do a uh, Grand Fest Gear Chronicle deck profile. Um, so leave a like, subscribe, comment. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. I know this deck has been out for a year. A year, pretty much. So yeah, a year now. So like. You probably already know the deck, arguably better than me because I apparently suck at Vanguard as I learned today in my local tournament. Um, so yeah, this is Miles from Nexus Core signing off.